Welcome back to my channel. Now I did a video recently showing how to string my industrial singer sewing machine. Now I've since been requested to show how to fill the bobbin so I'm going to do that and I'm also going to address one issue that I did not address and that was to show you how to actually manipulate the hand wheel because you have to put your feet on the um, sewing pedal just press it down in order to manipulate the hand wheel so I'm going to show you how to do that alright guys okay guys so the first thing that you want to bear in mind is that if you are working on a garment and you have a particular color you're gonna have to get a thread of the same color or so on because the the bobbin is filled in the meantime that you're working because these industrial machine they multitask so if you are working for me i'm working on a brown but i'll soon be finished with that so i'm just using a different color thread for the contrast but you want to get the same color thread that you you want that you're going to need to full because you can't take off this in other words i'm going to use it over here because you're going to be sewing with this so if you have two of the same um color that would be nice right no i'm going to be using this just for the purpose of the video so you put it on you just you just slip it on you come up here now you have um one two three right so this one is to go towards the machine to sew whatever it is that you're sewing and the second one is coming to go down to where you're gonna string the bobbin now so this is what the first thing that you're gonna be doing right uh okay Now, now look at it by the way. This is how it's gonna look. So you have a little little thing here, and this is the first thing that you're going to slip it through, and then you're gonna take it here. Now you can adjust this to how tight you want it. I haven't. Nah, I can just leave it just the way it came. I haven't adjusted it, but let's say you're using a thicker thread like a jeans thread or something it might be a little bit more difficult for it to pass through so you might want to adjust this see it spins and let me put it back over so you can adjust it to how tight you want now let me think me put it back to it all right so you can just adjust it to how you want it but um the first thing i want to do is slip the thread through here and then you go around here so i'm gonna do that and show you Alright, so I go through, don't knot up the thread, I'm using one hand, but don't knot up the thread, and you're going back, so you go back through it, and you draw it up, so that's how it's going to look. So that's basically it to get it through there. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is attach the thread onto the bobbin. I, 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 I'm not going to tell a lie, but really, I'm sure you just tie it on. I usually just tie it on. So I'm going to do that because I have to use both hands. So I'm going to tie it on and then um, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now that I've tied it on. I usually try and wheel it so you wheel it in this direction. So I'm wheeling it to me, towards me, I should say, a little bit. And I do this just to get it um firm enough because you actually have to get it firm enough coming from there. When I say firm enough, I mean stiff enough. That's what I should say. Ugh. So you have to get it stiff enough from there coming to here. You push it on until you hear it. Well, let me see if we can make it make the nice. Well, not really make no nice, but you push it back basically, basically um, to the furthest point that it can go. Alright? So before we move on, so this is it. You slip it through there. You tie it on and you come here. Now this is what you're gonna do when you get to here you this this is this knob you simply just want to push it back what it will do it is to hold it in place so meanwhile you're sewing the bobbin is going to be pulling up 
and this is why I said earlier about the thread so whatever color thread that you know you're gonna use and um, that's what it is going so you're gonna have to basically have two so that's what you're gonna be doing all right so now you have it here and then you're going to go it's, it's secure you don't have to worry about this it is secure now and when you start sewing it will stop so when you okay so take a look you see that little space when it is filled up to that and it start bucking on this section it is going to fly so it's going to automatically fly up by itself it's just gonna do that see it just like how you hear so you even while you're sewing you'll be able to hear it because it's just going to fly up like that so I'm gonna push it back down right and I'm gonna I'm working on a bag right now so I was actually gonna line the bag all right so this is my project that I'm working on working on this bag for a client of mine so I'm actually going to uh, line the bag so in the meantime I'm gonna be lining the bag I'm gonna show you guys what's gonna be happening because the machine is going to be running and the bobbin is going to be filling up on its own doing its own thing and once it's finished it's going to snap signaling that it's finished it's full all right <laughs> As you can see it just stopped by itself whenever it's full it is just gonna stop by itself now the other issue that I wanted to address is the hand wheel now when I showed how to string the sewing machine I said you can use this to adjust the take-up lever but the thing about it is if you're gonna use this to adjust the take-up lever you're gonna have to have your feet on the sewing pedal so you gotta press it down I'm going a little bit so you press it down and once you press down on it this will help you to manipulate this so watch me um, do it and you can see me going up and down right but you have to have your feet on it though so okay then everyone thank you very much for watching i'm gonna go and finish up my project that i'm working on because i need to get some grommets into this bag so i hope that whatever you learn today is gonna be able to help you in your projects the next video that i do is probably gonna be about threading the bobbin case so i see you guys on that video best of luck to you all Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Yeah.